I don't think I want to talk to you guys right now. Hello. Instructor Nightheart's been even busier than usual lately. He leaves immediately after his classes are done and seems to be contacting someone on a regular basis. Could it be? Does Instructor Nightheart have a secret girlfriend? Instructor Nightheart has already gone home for the day. Maybe he really does have a secret girlfriend. Maybe he does. I'm beside myself to know that we have a student who was in danger of being held back. That crow armbrist is a disgrace. This is why the lower class are nothing but a liability. The two people with the highest grades our lower class. Also, is Toa not also from the lower class? Does he not realize that these are the types of things which hurt the Academy's reputation? Be sure to inform him that we made a special exception for him once and only once. He's all out of chances. I can only hope that we never find ourselves in this situation again. Be sure that you don't let him corrupt you. Well. Hey. Chancellor Osborne was always known to be the bold type during his time in the military. However, he seems to have become even more coercive after becoming a politician. Now that terrorists have begun to pop up, I'm sure that he won't hesitate to enforce some strict countermeasures, too. I can only hope that no innocents get caught up in it all. <laughs> <laughs> About that. Yeah. He did mention that Principal Van Dyke was his former superior, didn't he? I wonder what caused him to leave the military and become a politician. Principal Van Dyke, how did you, I almost want to say raise the Chancellor to be like your complete opposite? Shut up before the Principal shows up and decks you? I wish he would. I wish Van Dyke would go punch the Vice Principal. Someone needs to. I'm sure the Principal would feel great. Wait, did I talk to him two times? Ready to talk to you again? Chancellor Osborne seems to have become even more coercive after becoming a politician. I can only hope that no innocents get caught up in it all. Rip Crossbell. All right. Monk. There are new students in class seven. I smell new material. You might get to hear all about it on the next Aubin time. It's hard to go to the school and not know Crow, but I've never seen that tiny girl before. Maybe it's time to do a bit of research. Good luck. Edel really is gorgeous, isn't she? And that body of hers is like, wow, I just have to get my hands on it. Otherwise, what's the point of even being in this stupid club? Um, gardening, perhaps? I just have to get my hands on Edel's body, or there is no point in being in this stupid club. The question is, how? Looks like my plants are growing up pretty well now. You can do it, flowers. They should bloom soon, though. Almost there. I decided not to go home for summer vacation. I just couldn't bring myself to leave all the flowers behind after all. These flowers are really coming into their own now too. How could I go home at a time like this? Can I fish now? Wait, wait, wait. We ranked up. Where's, where's what's his face? Where is Kenneth? Wait, no, Kenneth is a noble. He probably went home. Curses. Hey. 
Look, Alan, your natural strength's your greatest asset. Patrick makes up for his lack of it with multiple strikes. If you want to beat him, you've got to find the right moment and take him out in one big powerful strike. Do it like I taught you and things will work out just fine. Got it. Patrick showed up at every single practice since Friedel destroyed him last month. But Alan's not looking too shabby himself. He might even catch up to Patrick before too long. With Patrick on, I've got the chance to close the skill gap between us. He's going to be in for a shock next time we face off. Oh yeah, I heard the Wind Orchestra will be holding a concert. Bridget's going to be one of the performers too. So naturally, I really want to go and watch. I'm glad that you and Bridget have made up and can just be friends again or in a relationship, whatever the heck you are. At first I was planning on going home like the rest of the upper class students. Then I remembered how bored I got when I did that last year. I guess I'm more suited to staying behind and spending some quality fencing time with the other club members. I got bored pretty quickly when I went home last year. I guess I'd rather spend my break with a sword in my hand. Fair enough. Fair enough. Laura. You seem more comfortable with what you're doing now, Monica. Perhaps you should try increasing your distance. That said, there's no need to rush. Your pace should be entirely up to you. I know, one step at a time. Oh, Lara's not being a really ridiculous instructor anymore. That's good. Monica was probably going to have a mental breakdown because of her soon. Monica has really improved in her swimming lately. She might reach her goal of swimming 50 Arge any day now. Isn't that just like 50 meters? How long is this pool? Thanks to Lara, I'm slowly getting better and better. Maybe the 50 Arch dream isn't as far off as I thought. Thanks to Lara, I'm slow. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just. She can't swim like. At most two lengths of this pool. How? You could float that. Whatever. I should probably not judge people's swimming ability. considering how addicted to swimming I am. Where am I going? I'm supposed to go see Toa. I don't want to do that yet. Is there anyone over here? Fuses. Mark my words, Milliam has yet to show her true colors. And I have every intention of exposing her true reasons for joining our class. I think maybe you're worrying about it too much. And perhaps you're not worrying enough. Our class is full of good souls, far too naive and accepting for their own good. At least one of us needs to look at others with a critical eye, and I happen to make a rather fine skeptic. <laughs> well, I suppose having several points of view to consider is a good thing. But at least try not to make her feel unwelcome, okay? Fine. I have every intention of exposing her true reasons for joining our class. The only question is whether or not she'll make it an easy task. She works for the intelligence division. You think you can make her crack? Good luck. It's a bummer that Lambert and Whitcomb are on vacation. Horse riding's been getting more and more fun for me lately, so I wanted to get another lesson in. Oh well, I guess I just need to wait until he's back. If you so desired, I would be willing to spare the time to teach you. 
thanks, but no thanks. You're the last person I'd want help from. Fair enough. Hello, Lagija. Welcome to stream. I'm hoping to surpass Yusis eventually. It wouldn't be satisfying to beat an enemy who's helping you out, you know? I mean, it might be. Ferris, you are here. I thought you would have gone home. I will be challenging Elisa tomorrow. Yes, she may have out-sprinted me, and indeed, she scored better on the midterms, but all of that is in the past. The time is nigh to show her what the great Ferris Florald is truly capable of. I will be victorious tomorrow, no matter what. The time is nigh to show her what I, Ferris Florald, am capable of. Good luck. Why are you here, though? Theresia's? Teresha's? I don't know. Parents told her to come right home for summer break. Apparently, they're none too pleased that she's hanging out with a commoner like me. Sounds like she got a real tongue lashing for it when they first found out, too. But even after that, she never stopped talking to me. You don't make friends as true as Teresha every day. Today's not even a practice day, but Ferris dragged me out here anyway. Hard to believe this is the same girl who didn't want to bother to clean up not too long ago. Emily, let's leave the past in the past where it belongs. Look at Ferris, showing personal growth. What's up? Nothing much. Finally in chapter five of this game. Feels like it's been forever. And I'm sure we'll be in chapter five forever. Becky. Still have the summer festival food stalls on your mind. No, that's not it. I've been helping my dad at the Grand Market for years now, so food stalls are like one of the things I live for. So now I'm just like, I want to set one up now. Oh no. I completely forgot, but I actually love food stalls even more than I love working. Who doesn't love food stalls? First, multiple jobs, now a food stall. Never can tell what she'll do next, can you? Set up a food stall, Becky. I want a food stall. Am I allowed to leave and go into town? Probably not. Oh, there's, there's two sections now. Recommended reading corner. The media, generational conflicts. Uh -huh, six pages, I need a drink first. All right. I imagine that if I asked for the most famous example of mass media in Erebonia, most people would respond with the name Imperial Chronicle. The Imperial Chronicle has been in publication for over a hundred years and was originally read only by the wealthy and written to cater to the interests of the nobility. However, that stance has begun to show a remarkable change. The primary cause of this being the conflict between the two competing political factions, which has been the subject of much discussion in recent years. The reformist faction, represented by the current chancellor, Giliath Osborne, has had by far the most impact in the imperial capital, Heimdall, where the Imperial Chronicle has its headquarters. As such, the paper has felt compelled to report on his reforms in a fairly positive light. However, as a large proportion of the paper's readership is located in the provinces where the four great houses and the other nobles who they represent still hold the most influence, the Imperial Chronicle has been forced to cater to these people as well, leading to its political alignment being quite inconsistent. In fact, there appear to be occasions where editions of the paper published in Heimdall are slightly different to those published in the provinces. Personally, I 
feel like media should be middle ground, report both sides. But whatever. In the midst of all of this, Radio Trista, a station which broadcasts through Orville Radio, has been able to gain significant popularity through its programs, which are not tied down by such obligations. Established by former Imperial Chronicle reporters and ex Rhineford Company technicians, the station has been aiming to increase its popularity by getting Orville Radios into the hands of pubs and beer halls across the country and attracting listeners with music programs, news reporting, and live sports broadcasts. However, Trista Radio Station's rise in popularity has been a source of great displeasure to the Imperial Chronicle. And there have been reports of the paper blatantly attempting to put pressure on the station. Rude? Let the radio station live its life. You're a newspaper. They're a radio station. Get over it. One of these moves was to was the establishment of a new radio station, Imperial Chronicle Radio, through which the Imperial Chronicle can compete directly with the existing stations, Trista Radio Station and Ruhr Orbel Radio Station. Another step is the move towards introducing regulations against the monopolization of public orbital waves, although there are fears that this would eventually lead to the censorship of news broadcast by the imperial government. At the very least, the noble faction does not seem opposed to censorship uh, in principle. In light of all of this, it seems all but assured that competition and conflict between old and new kinds of media will become all the more fierce in the years to come. I can only pray that this competition leads to change for the better and not for the worse. Nielsen! Nielsen wrote this? Nielsen! I miss him! We got to read something written by Nielsen though. Yeah. Stray? Me? You can call me Frey. I'm an anime god? How so? Imagine when internet comes to Erebonia. They will not be able to handle that in any way, shape, or form. Not at all. Okay. We are done our reading. I should check the old schoolhouse and the engineering building before we go. into the student union. Angelica. Hey, Rian, how's Crow fitting in with your class? I mean, he sleeps through all of our classes, so, you know. Perfectly. It's like he's been there since our first day. That's good to hear. Well, make sure you get some use out of him. He might be lazy, but he knows what he's doing when things get serious. I've noticed. Now that we have Milliam to worry about, I'm sure we'll be relying on him quite a bit. Feel free to ask us or Toa if you need anything too. We'll try to help you out however we can. Thanks, I will. I need to put new emoticons and sound. I do. I did, um, draw the base for I think one of the sub badges is what I'm going to make that be but I have to scan it into my computer and color it so I decided I want to draw them myself so it is a slow go but it's uh it's gonna happen eventually slowly but surely at least I drew something haven't done that in a long time I ended up having to put that suit of armor in storage for now Mostly because I just wasn't getting anywhere examining it. That's a shame. I was hoping that it helped us crack some of the mysteries surrounding the old school house. I'm sorry I wasn't more helpful. I do plan on going back to it now and then. Just on the off chance I end up making some progress. In the meantime though, you might want- not turbo mode- you might want to keep exploring the old school house for yourselves. Will do, sir. 
Okay, he just says the same thing. Do you just say the same thing? Believe it or not, Crow was actually part of the Arcus testing last year. You should have no problem forming combat links with him. He'll be pretty useful if you can wring some work out of him. I will do my best, Angelica. All right. I did want to go over here. Last place to check before we go to the... Hi, Callie. My cat has come to join us. What is it being? She's got itchies scratching her neck. She's probably mad that I shut the windows, but it looked like it was gonna rain. So it do be like that. What are you doing? Cats are weird, man. All right, student union. 